Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to another PES 2020 video. Yesterday we did a video on Master League and you guys really enjoyed that. Today we're going to be trying out the new Become a Legend mode. Now I know on this channel that I a lot of fans of the My Player Career mode on FIFA, so I thought it was only fair to give you guys a taste of the Become a Legend mode on PES and see how it compares with FIFA. So in today's video, we're going to be going through the Become a Legend mode, playing some games, seeing what this game mode has to offer, what kind of features it has. Should be a ton of fun. And if you guys are excited for PES content, make sure to smash that like button. Let's smash out 1500 likes. That would be incredible. And if you are new around here, subscribe for PES content as well as FIFA 20 content as soon as the game is out. A lot of people in the comments were telling me to get the option files so I can get all the kits and logos, the official ones of course, and I've done exactly that with the help of PES Universe, a website where you can get all these option files to make your PES experience a lot better. Go and check them out if you want to, but this is what I've done. Every official logo, names, everything is perfect now in the Premier League and in a lot of the other competition as well, like the Liga, the Serie A and all, so that's brilliant. Unfortunately though, PES still haven't updated the transfers, the squads, which means we are still using last season's squads and that is why I haven't started a Master League series yet on the channel. As soon as we get the update tomorrow, I suppose, we're going to be doing a Master League series on the channel until FIFA 20, that's the plan. For today though, we're going to be hopping into the Become a Legend mode to see what this happens to offer. Let's get right into it. The last time I played PES Become a Legend was I think about a couple of years ago so I'm hoping we'll be seeing some new features on this game mode. So starting off with general settings, transfer frequency normal, first window transfers enabled and all this sort of stuff, match time 8 minutes. We're going to keep the difficulty regular because I'm not an experienced PES player, that's the plan. Like FIFA, you get the option of choosing an original player that you'll create or of course as an existing player as well. Because I want to see how customization works on PES, we're going to be creating our own player. So time to create our player. Let's select a nationality for him. We're going to go England, there's a reason behind this. So I'm giving the created player a name and I've gone with Oscar Brown. People that have watched my channel before and have followed my FIFA 19 My Player Career Mode series will know why I've gone for him. A bit of an easter egg for you guys. So I'm making my player right footed but the interesting thing is we can select our weak foot stat initially itself. I mean if that's the case then I'm gonna go for why not. Alright so PES does have an in-depth customization for your player but if I'm not wrong FIFA 20's customization is a lot better. Now we're not gonna be spending too much time on this because we're not gonna be doing a series with this player anyway so it doesn't really make a difference but just to show you guys there are quite a few options here to, you know, change and, you know, mess around with your player and make him however you want to look. Although I have given my player a decentish hairstyle. Again, a lot of options for hairstyles as well on PES. You guys can take a look at the height and weight stats as well of the player that I'm creating. And also look at this. I mean, this is a detail that isn't in FIFA. You can, like, make his neck absurdly short or even long, which... Let's be honest, is definitely a bit weird and even make it broad or narrow again. <laughs> I don't know why this is even in the game, it's hilarious. Not really going to mess with this though, we're just going to keep it as it is. It's good to know that PES do have some of these Adidas boots as well. We're going to give our player the Predator 19 plus hardwired pair of boots. Let's also give him a wrist tape on his left arm because why the hell not? We're going to have his shirt untucked as well because let's be honest, tucked in shirts don't look good at all. So yeah, this is how our player is going to look I suppose. Now this is something that isn't on FIFA. You can actually select the way your player runs while in motion and while dribbling as well. Like look at this, you can have the Sterling or Robin way of running on PES which is I think a really cool feature. Okay this is interesting we can have the Neymar penalty as well on PES. I quite like that. We're going to be using this free kick uh, technique, this corner technique as well and the running style are pretty basic that I've given our player. Why not? Alright so there are a total of 150 celebrations that you can select for your player and I've gone for the Usman Dembele celebration as one of our celebrations. Looks pretty good in game. And the other one is the Kylian Mbappe celebration. This actually looks really good as well. Can't wait to potentially do it in today's video. Now this is where PES completely destroys FIFA's My Player Career Mode. I mean look at this. The amount of options you've got here. You can literally select how you want your player to be in various positions. Let's say you want your player to be an attacking midfielder. You've got various options. Do you want him to be a dummy? runner? Do you want him to be a creative playmaker, a whole player or a box to box player? Similarly up front you've got different options, a target man, a goal poacher and a creative playmaker, a classic number 10. It's brilliant man, I'm a big fan of this on PES. 
So I'm going to be a shadow striker in today's episode, but as a creative playmaker, I suppose, similar to Leo Messi, I guess. Not really though, but anyways, we're going to be using this for today's video. Okay, so these are the stats we've been given from the get-go. 72 rated already is impressive. Of course, a creative playmaker, 17 years old, and you guys can have a quick look at his stats as well. If you remember, on FIFA 19's player career mode, you start out as a 21-year-old, which makes no sense. Thankfully, the basics are perfect in PES and you start off as a 17 year old. Anyways guys, now it is time to choose the league we'll be playing in. If I'm not wrong, we don't get to select the team, but we do get to select the league we'll be playing in. And because we've just got the licenses for the Premier League, the Champions League and all that sort of stuff, let's go with the Prem and play in England. Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting a team randomly, so let's find out which team we'll be playing for in today's video and it looks like it's Norwich City. Interesting guys, playing along with Timu Puki, who we know has been having an outstanding season so far. There you go, Oscar Brown in a Norwich jersey looks pretty good. So here are the My Player Career Mode menus. We'll be going through every portion of the menu soon, but first up, just looking at the base menu, looks pretty good to be honest. As you guys can see on the left, you've got Bright Future awaits young Oscar Brown. You've got other players talking about, you know, enjoying football and all that sort of stuff. Bottom right, you've got the followers tab showing that Norwich at the moment have got about 350,000 followers. I must say, I do prefer the menu layout that FIFA has, but this ain't that bad. Alright, so as you guys can see, this is the Norwich team we'll be playing in. Some really good players, especially up top, Timu Puki. Hopefully, we'll get some game time in this team. So, I guess the player menu section is where you get things done. So, we've got some messages. Let's see what this is about. England national team squad announcement. We didn't get picked for the England squad, which I guess makes sense. We're literally just starting out with the be a legend save okay this is certainly interesting it's that time of the year again so i need to know your shirt number preference if the number is available we'll get it if it isn't we'll have to take it from another player but to get it we'll need to be better than him so i guess we don't just get any number that we want like in fifa if it's free we get that number if not we need to be better than the player we're getting the number from you know what i like that so a message from our agent as well this is what he can do for us he can negotiate with our current club for a better contract or of course look for a move for us that's pretty standard have a look at this guys we've already been given at the number nine jersey i guess it was vacant which makes perfect sense so good news we don't really have to take anybody else's kit number have a look at this and see how training works on pes i think it's based on a system of focus points basically we'll be getting points for every time we play well i suppose and we can use that to boost our training and particular attributes like look at this if i remove like one or two points from defense and add that to dribbling and shooting I guess that makes my dribbling and shooting grow faster. Does that make sense? Probably does. I, th I think that's how it's going to work. And I, you know what? I think that is actually pretty incredible. Fair play, Pes. I prefer this to FIFA's training. It's, it's just so much more in-depth. Also, have a look at the amount of skills we can learn as a player. Something like one-touch passing, first-time shot, dipping shots, knuckle shot, and all that. But to learn that, we need to use focus points, which makes it interesting. So let's try that out. So let's try and learn a first-time shot skill and see how that works. But I guess it's going to take a lot of time. Thousand days remaining. We don't really have time for that. So if we decrease all this and... We try and increase it this way. Okay, we can get it down. But it's, it's interesting to see how this works. We're not going to do it now because we don't have the time. But again, this is just showing off all the features PES has. And I'm pretty impressed so far. Why isn't all this there in FIFA? Like, honestly, we can even change positions and train them over on PES. I mean, that is a standard thing that should be in FIFA. Fair play to PES for having this. I'm sure they've had it for the last few years. But just shows how far behind FIFA's player career mode actually is. So it's time to get on with our first game of the season and surprisingly we are starting from the get-go but as a left midfielder, not centrally which is interesting but you know what, I'm up for it. We've got to perform in every position possible and let's try and win the coach's trust. We're playing at home, Norwich City versus Burnley. I've got all the new kits, the licenses and everything's gonna look official so that's great and of course you guys can see we're playing along with Timu Puki as well. Let's get right into this and hopefully we can get on the score sheet. All right. Here we go, it's kickoff, and this is the start of our first ever PES Become a Legend game. We're starting off out wide, and let's see how this game goes. Oh, this could be a proper good chance for us. Ball comes back in. 
We have a chance to score and we've actually scored within five minutes. What is even going on here? I'm surprised out of nowhere we get the ball inside the box. I just press the shoot button and it goes in. We've managed to score on our Premier League debut. Let's have a look at that. It was complete chaos in the attack here. The number 18 somehow wins the ball back. Plays it back in. Timu Puki, one touch pass into me and I bang it in. Come on, we've already scored in today's video. That is just brilliant. Long ball approach from our teammate but it works. I get the ball, chests it down and of course I play it to number 12 who pushes forward. Plays it into Timu Puki. This is brilliant build up play. What can Puki do? I might get the ball back and I do. Come on, let's try and beat my man. I can't. It, the dribbling isn't that easy in, in PES. In the comment section guys, let me know your thoughts on this camera angle. Personally, I'm a big fan of it. I think it provides a good experience and the graphics look a lot better than how the normal PES graphics are. Here we go now once again. Fake shot, I beat one, although it's going to be difficult to keep hold of the ball and I can somehow. Maybe a cross back in. I'm going to go for the cross. It's a decent delivery. Nah, it really isn't. Burnley cleared it away without any sort of problem. On the attack we go now, as the ball finds its way to Timu Puki, who I think is onside. He really should have scored that. That is a big chance wasted. Was he offside though? I'm not sure. He wasn't. That was actually a proper good chance. Puki, let's have a look at that again. He really should have scored that. He gets the ball, controls it. If this was real life, he would have probably scored. Here we go now, Timu Puki controls it well. Puki 1v1 and he's missed another great chance. I mean, Timu Puki has got to be scoring those. Here we go, I get the ball in a good spot. Oh, that's a brilliant touch there from Oscar. Come on. Let's try and curl this one in. Oh, well, that was an absolute failure of a shot. Should be doing better though. But that touch there to, you know, beat the player there. Let's have a look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that touch. That was brilliantly done. Once again, I'm pushing down the flank. I try a clever pass to Timu Puki. What can he do from here? Tries to curl this one in. And that came pretty close to going in, to be fair. And that is the halftime whistle. I've had so much fun in this first half. I feel like the AI or on PES... It's just so much more smarter and intelligent and it's been really fun. Enjoyable first half. We scored as well, which is massive. Let's get the job done in the second half. Finds me. I'm going, going to go for goal. Ooh, that was actually super close to going in. I mean, finesse shots don't really work on PES, at least for me. But the regular shots are pretty effective. Clever pass inside. We get the ball back. This is some nice build-up play. I'm going to go for goal. Decent shot once again, but the keeper makes a good save there. Again, I'm loving the build-up play and the link-up with my teammates. Long ball approach to me. I'm going to head this one down, and I do so perfectly. Number 18 controls it well. Now Timu Puki. Back to number 18. Puki goes for goal. That's off the crossbar. And on the rebound, an overhead kick as the keeper saves that as well. This was a beautiful attack. I was involved in it as well with the header. But look at that, Puki and of course, number 18 linking up well, but off the crossbar. Good attempt on the rebound as well. Oh, I nutmeg the player there. That's absolutely brilliant. Go on. I've nutmegged him. I'm just going to go for goal in the hopes of something special to happen. But the keeper saves. That nutmeg with the fake shot was just brilliant. Burnley on the attack. Don't want to be conceding so late on in the game. Cross comes in. And we punch it away, thankfully, although the chance is still on for them. And that was so close to going in. Could have easily been one all there. Looks like Burnley on the attack. They ain't looking to give up here. Shots taken. Decent attempt. Keeper, thankfully, makes the save there. And we just cleared the ball away. And that's that, guys. Full time. We walk away with the win as we score on our debut in PES. Become a legend in the Premier League. What a moment that was to score within the first five minutes. I wasn't expecting that. But if I have to give my review on the gameplay of Become a Legend, I'm impressed. I had so much fun playing this. And I think it's a very good experience. Is it better than FIFA? I've got to say, PES has become a legend is better than FIFA's My Player Career Mode. But overall, I still prefer FIFA's gameplay. But this was still a very fun experience. Even though we scored on our Premier League debut, we only got a 6.5 match rating. That is a bit weird, probably because of my positioning, because that was all over the place. But look at this, guys. Every stat gets boosted as you play through games. As Look at that. That purple bar is kind of like an experience system. So when that gets full, your overall goes up. So fair play, pass. That is a really nice addition. And I think it's been there for a while on PES. But again, expected progress just shows how many years I guess it's going to take to, you know get to that 80 overall mark and according to this it shows we'll be 20 when we'll be like 80 rated fair play all this is super cool so we've now got the europe best player award um function i suppose and ronaldo wins the award which is a bit different to what normally happens because so far every master league that i've started it's always been messi who wins it so interesting to see ronaldo win it this time 
Also look at that on the bottom right of your screen, the follow account. As we won that game and Oscar Brown scored, as we scored, it's gone up to 351,000, which is interesting. So guys, this is where we're going to be ending today's Pest Become a Legend video. I hope I've given you guys a really good preview of this game mode. I certainly enjoyed it. I think it's a very good alternative to FIFA's My Player Career Mode. It's a lot of fun. The gameplay is satisfying. And yeah, I've got to say I really enjoyed myself with all the option files and all. It does become a very, very good experience. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are going to try out PES Become a Legend for the first time as well in the comment section. If you guys enjoy today's video, a like would be absolutely incredible. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe as well for more PES as well as FIFA content. And that's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys next time.